A body of mass 37 kg rests on a rough horizontal surface. The minimum horizontal force required to just start the motion is 68.5 Newton. In order to keep the body motion with a constant velocity, a force of 43 Newton is needed. What is the value of coefficient of static friction and coefficient of kinetic friction? So, static friction में हम किसी भी body को initially जब भी हमें इसको start करना है, जब मुझे इसको motion provide करना है, उसमें जो force required होता है, वो force हम use करते हैं। वही kinetic friction में जब भी मेरा body motion में रहता है, उस time पर जो force लगता है, वो force हम consider करते हैं। it means जो मेरा initial force है जिसको जिससे body motion में start होता है that force is called as limiting force of kinetic friction and जब भी मेरा body motion में है that time पर जो force required रहेगा that force is called as limiting force of kinetic friction always आपको पता होना चाहिए कि static friction में जो force रहेगा that should be always greater than the force required in kinetic friction weight of body is given that is m is given 37 kg second the minimum horizontal force is required to start the motion means initially जब मुझे इसको motion में start करना है body का तभी जो force है that is given 68.5 I am consider here f of s f stands for limiting force during a static friction so it will be 68.5 newton Second, F of K, the force required to keep the body in motion with constant velocity is called limiting force of kinetic friction which is given 43 Newton. And we know G is 9.81 meter per second square. For find so first I have to calculate coefficient of static friction that is mu s and second coefficient of kinetic friction that is mu of k. Formula the first we know f of s is equals to mu of s into n and the another formula f of k is equals to mu of k into n. मैंने यहाँ पे S denotes किया है for static friction and K denotes किया है for kinetic friction. Coefficient of static friction. We know from this formula mu S is equals to f of S upon n and we know f of S upon n is equals to m into z. Therefore f of S is given. 68.5 divided by m is 37 into 9.81 therefore mu of s is equals to 68.5 divided by 37 into 9.81 is 0.1887 so the coefficient of a static friction is point 1887 second coefficient of kinetic friction we know mu of k is equals to f of k upon n from this formula like mu of k is equals to f of k upon n n ko mene either le liya therefore mu of k is equals to f of k is given 43 upon n is again 37 into 9.81 therefore the value of coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.11846 therefore mu of k is equals to 0 0.11846 even you can see from the coefficient of a static friction and the coefficient of kinetic friction during the initial state जब मेरा body fix रहेगा तभी मेरा friction ज़्यादा रहेगा as compared to when the body is in moving with a constant velocity